bear with us. Roller coaster for the first 30 seconds of the show. Hopefully that looks good. Oh, it looks like we're actually on. Hey, everyone. Hello. There we go. We're off the roller coaster. Now. We are there. Looks like one person is watching, and it's Mindy. <laughs> I mean, Becky's probably already on. I haven't checked. It says we're live on both, but... Oh, I don't see you soon. Hello, everyone. Kim, Christine, Joanne, hey. Sandy. All right, today we are making homemade white sauce, and I'm making sausage and gravy biscuits today with the white sauce. This is in our Dining I Dine cookbook, which is on sale for free shipping right now. <gasps> Page 143, go to livingonadime.com, click on the store, and you will see our free shipping. I'm sharing a link right now. Um, I'm going to make sausage gravy. This is going to be our dinner for the night. Yeah. Well, yeah. For Mike and the boys, it'll be dinner for them. I'm going to make me some liver. Yeah, you just enjoyed that liver. I'll happily take the sausage gravy. <laughs> Hello All from right. sunny Alberta. So, nice. what I'm going to do is I have my sausage right here already started. Or, I mean, getting ready to get started. I'm just going to put my sausage in my pan and cook up my sausage while I'm making my biscuits because I'm going to use the fat from the sausage to make my white sauce, my white gravy, for the sausage and gravy. Okay, so I'm going to get that started back here because it's kind of noisy when it starts doing all its bubbling stuff. So Julie from Georgia, who you met, Julie! says hi there. I was just reviewing this recipe today. Yay! In the book or on the Yay. website? <laughs> oh yeah, I guess I should share. So, so there is a little typo in in on this white sauce. If you have the book, at the bottom of it, it says this recipe equals one can of creamed soup. It can be doubled, but only use one and three quarters cups of water. Uh. That's wrong. The water part. The water part's wrong. It should be milk. So just use one and three quarters cups of milk is fine. So just do that. It does It's not major, but of course we just had 2,500 books delivered today and we discovered that. So we can't do anything about it. So anyway, all right. So to make my, oh yeah, to make my biscuits, these are Mike's baking powder biscuits. Um... Mike's. They're not under Mike's. What would they be under? Baking powder biscuits. Uh, yeah, just a second. Can I please not have the gravy on mine? Um, Sorry, I just don't have the Baking powder. Mm. Well, Sorry. The I just got dressed literally like three minutes ago because Dave and I did not get the books taken to the post office, so we had to run down there two minutes <coughs> before the show went. I cannot find biscuits in here. Breads. Well, we should oh ask Patty. She just made them the other day. Well, baking, oh, here they are. Page 51, baking powder biscuits. Okay, so I'm making those up while I'm frying my gravy. And no, not 51. That's wrong. Page, oh, seriously, come on. Page 54, Mike's Baking Powder Biscuits. Okay. Yay. So I'm going to get those done. When we were visiting the Aldermans in Mississippi, yes. Patty made this recipe for us. And actually, I have that video. <coughs> oh, I didn't even think about it. Well, maybe I'll put her video out next week. Um, I have an Instant Pot video, how to do a roast, and her baking powder biscuits that she did. Okay, so I have the flour and the baking powder and the salt and I'm just going to whisk those up just a little bit okay where'd my shortening go I had shortening on here oh no I didn't never mind okay and then I'm going to take my margarine because I don't have any butter I use shortening or margarine because they make fluffier biscuits. Butter makes a crispy biscuit. So depending on what you want, uh, crispy, more crispy use butter, more fluffy use shortening. 
margarine. Okay, now I am using buttermilk today because, oh, I forgot my baking soda for the buttermilk one. <laughs> this isn't in the recipe, but if you use um, buttermilk, add a little bit of soda. Okay. Man, that smells good already. Yay. All right. Oh, Crystal's yeah. looking for the In-N-Out video. I don't think PJ got it done yet. Well, I don't think he got the regular one done, but here's the lot. I'll share in here the live, the one they did live. That's mostly just them sitting around talking about how pretty it is where they are and eating. Okay, so then we have our buttermilk. And we're going to get that mixed in here. While our gravy's, or while our sausage is cooking for our gravy. Like I said, Dining Eye Dime Cookbook, page 54. In case you missed the announcement, Dining Eye Dime is on sale for free shipping right now with free shipping. Um, we got a new, the order of books. What I don't understand is how is this order of books got here in two days? Two business so days. And the last shipment that took two and a half weeks to get here. I don't know. So anyway, they were supposed to call us and they did not call us once again. So a big semi just showed up in our driveway with five books. minutes notice. <laughs> with literally five minutes notice. And I had Jack at the eye doctor, so poor Mike was cleaning out the hole in the garage to put them. And Dave helped me, so Good it job, was, Dave. Good job. I appreciated the help. <clears throat> um. Okay. So. Paige, yes, the butter makes it crispy. Yes. But it also adds a whole lot of yummy flavor, too. But if you want crispy biscuits, use butter. If you want fluffy biscuits, use shortening or margarine. Okay? Cat wants to know how long we're doing the free shipping on the book. I have no idea. We didn't talk about that yet. We didn't have a date. Probably until mon Monday. Probably till Monday. David um, Cooper from Kansas is on. Hello, David Cooper. He's calling for a food fight. Uh-oh, that's not good. <gasps> oh, Turid says that Heidi from Norway and her husband have been married for 20 years today. Ooh, if you're on, Heidi, happy, happy anniversary. anniversary. Hmm. Okay. Yes, Brenda, you're right. Butter makes it crispier and shortening makes it uh, softer. Now, I actually took a recipe that was a family recipe of ours and... Uh, Kept messing with it until I got it to where I really liked it, which was a whole lot of butter. But, you know, just have to eat it not quite as often. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to take and cut these out. Are you ready for me to go back down? Sure. Is that like a yes sure or a sure sarcastic sure? Right. That is a do it. Whoa, Mike needs to switch over here. Okay, so, get my biscuit cutter here. Cloudy Florida. Hi from Michigan, hi from Tennessee. Oh, Ontario. Hello everyone. Kingsthorpe, Australia. Good morning, Brenda. Okay, so, here we go. Just cut these out. So, Ellen was asking if you'd be using lard, but obviously you didn't. Uh, that was No, a I didn't. I used shortening this time. Is that the Ellen that's getting her house together? You go, girl. I'm so proud of you. She <laughs> had a big old mess, and she's been getting it all fixed up nice and partyified. She's been listening to our organizing YouTube videos. <clears throat> I think it inspired her. Maybe we'll pretend like it inspired her, even if it didn't. <laughs> yes. Uh, so when you order new shipments of books, can corrections be made? They can, and if we have some, we we do. But we have to. It's kind of an ordeal to change because we sent a proof before, and they have to redo everything if we make any changes. So we usually kind of collect them for a while. But it's been a long time. All since the we've changes had... in the book aren't anything major, so it's not. There's very little. 
Um, then the last little bit here is the dog biscuit. Okay. So. Papa Truckstetter. Who? Or, no, Papa Truck Prepstetter. Tell me what your name is in real life, because I see you got the gimbal, but I, I don't remember which person goes with the name Papa Truck Prepstetter. <laughs> Well, yay! For ten or for how long? For fifteen minutes. Well, here's here's a new one. Utsa says, "I think I'm the only person from India who never misses your shows, but could never make it for live. Just today, I got lucky. Wow! I've been watching you all for the okay. last two years. Well, thank you. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. <laughs> wow. Wow, because it's usually well, because it's like the middle of the night over there. Okay, so let me show you what I got here. Dave, can you hand me the bacon grease, please? Uh, out of the fridge. Oh, All that right. smells so now, good. This sausage, for some reason, did not cook up with hardly any grease. I don't know what kind of sausage you got. What kind of sausage did you get? We That's just, just weird. We just, we grabbed the generic, or it's Jimmy Dean regular. It said regular, yeah. Okay, well, this is the leanest sausage I have ever they seen. Only, they only had Jimmy Dean there, didn't they, Dave? Or at yeah. least that's all we could find. Okay. No, they had others. But... They had, like, super spicy and Italian and all that. And Dave didn't want me to get get risky on him. <laughs> I was like, Mom can make it taste good. Yes. <laughs> can you put some in a bowl for me? Uh, um, uh, of that? Yeah. Wait. Yeah, just a second. Are we done? Say, oh, okay. Okay, so... This is like the leanest sausage I've ever seen. Now I'm gonna have this finish cooking just for a second more. It smells awesome uh, though. Hold on, let me just put it back here. This is taking a long time to heat up. And um, then I'm gonna make my white sauce. Now, white sauce. We, Mike is putting a link up there to the white sauce, but I added, how many recipes did we count? Uh, on the post? Yeah. There were 14 including the white sauce. So we. Okay, that's weird. Either that or I miscounted. What's weird? Oh, it's this thing. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I smelled burning plastic. I'm like, what is happening? It's this thing. Um, <coughs> so we have 14 recipes that you can use this white sauce in. Now, here's the thing, guys. When you make a white sauce or white gravy or whatever else you want to call it, it's all the same thing. It just depends on the flavorings that you want to add. So like if you want to add a little bit of chicken bouillon, you can have a cream of chicken soup. If you want to add some beef bouillon, you can have um, a creamy gravy, beef gravy for like hamburger sauces, for like hamburger shepherd's pie, those kinds of things. But what I did was, we did you put the link in there for the recipes? I did, okay. uh, just now. All right. I'll so, add it again. It says uh, white sauce recipe and easy dinners that use white sauce. Okay, so what we did was I took some of our most popular recipes and I converted them so that when you have leftover white sauce, all you have to do is just throw it in the fridge and use it for your next recipe. It's super, super simple, guys, okay? Um, everyone gets really scared about making white sauce, but in reality, it's like one of the easiest things you can make. Okay? All right, now. Mom, are you having a <coughs> bit of a rough day? Well, let's just say if I could go die in a hole, I probably would. Shall we put it that way? Is that a nice way of putting it? Okay. Well, you so, think what she would say? But you've kind of perked up a lot in the last 10 minutes. I'm, I'm faking it. Um, okay, so now what I'm doing here is I'm leaving my, my um, sausage in my pan because I'm just going to make the sausage gravy with, um, with a... It's um, good, though. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Why doesn't Dave want to eat with this spoon? <laughs> Sorry, Dave. I uh, simply go. joyful. You missed just a few, about maybe ten minutes. Yeah. She's just she, so far. She's just been grill. Uh, she made up the biscuits and now she's browning Making the, the white sauce. For the okay. White sauce. Oh. No, so, okay, so I don't know where my cameraman is not doing his I job. He's eating. Okay, so to make the white sauce for sausage gravy, now okay. to make this regular white sauce, you wouldn't have your sausage in here. You would just put your butter or your bacon grease or whatever fat you want to use, okay? This is learning to cook, guys, okay? And you just, some of these concepts, you just kind of learn and then you can adapt them to whatever you need, okay? So I put my bacon grease in here because there wasn't enough fat left over from the grease of the um, sausage. You Sweet. probably want about two tablespoons of grease did you already spice it up with this I did not, but you might taste it first before you do. So then I'm going to take my flour and I'm going to mix it in just to get my flour cooked just a little bit. Now this is slightly different than the recipe in the book, but I just do this the easy way to save myself dishes. All right. So I have the flour in there and now I'm gonna pour in my milk, like so, and get this to boiling and bring it to boil, okay? Now, while this is coming to boil, I am going to talk about white sauces for just a minute. Okay, uh, so. Let me have some questions. Okay, <clears throat> throw the questions, Dave. Emily asked, what about shipping to Canada? Is it free? And somebody else was asking about the UK. So it's not free. Outside the United States, it's discounted. Yeah. It costs, <clears throat> it costs a boatload of money, no pun intended. <laughs> if, we were to, yeah, if we were to give it free shipping, we would be giving away the Yeah, we'd be losing money. <laughs> so, um, but we did discount it equal to the amount of the American shipping. So, so it is a better deal than usual in yeah. Canada. Yeah. So you're still and, getting a good, good deal. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. And if you add it to your, I can't remember how much the separate shippings are, but if you add it, add one to your cart, it'll tell you the shipping for your area. Um, Mother Mini Horses says her mom used to serve this with pancakes. Yeah, it's really good with pancakes, biscuits, over rice. We eat it over rice. Now, if you want to make this gluten-free, which I normally do, but I didn't have any right now, um, you could use cornstarch instead of flour. Oh, man. Um, and uh, that would make it gluten-free then if you wanted. Normally that's how we do it, but I just didn't have any cornstarch right now. <gasps> wow, watching, a lot of people from all over. You may. Mel says, first time watcher here in Australia. Welcome, good morning. And, uh, oh, somebody else was saying, watching from New Zealand, I forgot who it was. Sausage usually doesn't have a lot of grief. I'm not sure what that means. Grease. Oh, grease. Oh, sorry. Well, it usually doesn't have a ton, but it usually has enough that I can make gravy out of it. And there wasn't even a table, there wasn't even a teaspoon of, of grease in this one. So, which is <clears throat> fine. Yeah, some other people are but... talking about, Jamie and some others are talking about spicy sausage. I would probably have gotten a spicy sausage, but I didn't know if Dave would eat it, so. Dad, the lights are too bright for him. Yeah. Dad. <laughs> I thought you were gonna be singing that song. What? What is it about about how the light bright the lights get? It's not enough for you. <laughs> never enough. Oh, never, never. No, we're gonna be copyright strike. Never enough. <laughs> never, never. Um. Okay. So, um, white sauce. So, what can you use white sauce for? Here are several things you can do. Now, if you make this without the sausage in it, it's just gonna be plain white sauce. But what you can do is you can chop up some eggs in there after Easter and make golden morning sunshine over toast. That's one of mom's favorite, um, one of mom's favorite recipes. You can 
chop and put some chopped tuna in it and have cream tuna. A number of people were talking about toast. having made that. Yeah, you can do <clears throat> cream tuna. You can make a white sauce, add some cheese with some noodles, and you have homemade macaroni and cheese. That's all this is, guys, is a white sauce for homemade macaroni and cheese. You just take your white sauce, put in several pieces of cheese. If you're using American, give half to Jack. Yeah, I'm fine. Just it's gonna, right there. Oh, Give half to Jack. And um, you can boil up some noodles. Add a little bit of onion and garlic if you want powder. And you have homemade macaroni and cheese. You can use it for any casseroles. Uncle Dave says hi, Jack. Um, you can use it for any of your casseroles. So if you have shepherd's pie, put all your veggies in. Put all your veggies, your meat in there, pour the leftover white sauce in there, put some biscuits on top or a pie crust if you want, or leftover mashed potatoes, and you have a shepherd's pie casserole. You can use it for um, kisses. Ah! I snuck that one in there, Dad. Do you think he noticed? <laughs> I don't think he noticed because the, the shades. The shades made him not notice? Yeah. Oh, oh different. <laughs> Yes. Deborah said, my grandma said you should judge a restaurant by its biscuits and gravy. She took that serious in the hills of West Virginia. Yeah, in West Virginia, you better. After I've been to the South, I can see why. They have some good food there. So Jack wants me to tell you why he's wearing the sunglasses. Do you want to tell him why? Go ahead. Uh, oh, so, yeah, so we went to the um, eye doctor and I got my eyes dilated. And now... My eyes are super, they, like, the pupils are really big, and... The I, lights are really yeah, bright, Yeah, lights huh? are really bright, too. <laughs> so, but he has to have glasses. Ah. Uh. So he's going to be looking cute. So in a couple of weeks, we're going to get our online glasses ordered. This stuff is And spicy. sent, and it's going to be about $20 total for Jack's glasses online, which is great. So that's why I always order online. Okay. So, Ooh. Linda's now. a first time watcher in Madison. Welcome, Linda. Alabama. Alabama? All Looks right. Like... So now I'm getting this boiled down, but <clears throat> it's not getting as thick as I would like. So I'm going to add just a tad more flour and whisk it quick so it doesn't lump. All right. There we go. Um, okay. It's all right. All right, so see how it's getting all whisked up and all super yummy, yummy, yummy. So then we're gonna get our salt and pepper. Woo! All right, can you guys see it now? Can they see this? Or is my camera guy falling down Sorry, on the job? Sorry, Buster's. You're all good. I get. Zoom in, camera one. Okay. All right, oh, that's nice. about the thickness you want. Okay, Ooh. so I'm gonna turn off my heat. It smells delicious. All right, now I'm gonna test it. All right, yeah, definitely needs salt. <laughs> and it needs pepper, super yummy goodness. Dave, can you have me a little bowl or a plate? Like They're saying between the gnomes and Jack's alien glasses. It's pretty hilarious. The gnomes? What gnomes? On the, the computer. Oh. Denise gotcha. Roberts is asking for a shout out. Hey, Hello, Denise. Denise. Thank you for joining us. We're so glad you're here today. <laughs> mm. Oh, man. Who makes the best biscuits and gravy in the whole uh, wide world? You. you do. Thank you. Karen Muller wants to know. Although, if it was at the Alderman's house, I'd have to save us, Patty. <laughs> You better not. Oh, Tommy, that... there is another rule that you need to add to your rule book. That's to be a good guest. Number No, you make the rule best ones, but number one. As a good your guest. wife's cooking is always the best. Okay, <laughs> now this thing is hot, so I'm gonna try and get it out of the way here. Ow. Ow. <laughs> okay. Yes, Dave. Karen Muller wanted to know who do you order glasses through online? I order from Zenny. Zennyoptical.com. Okay, so let me test one more time. Mm. It's a little bit more salt. Wow. 
That is delicious. Okay, so let me throw my thing in there. Let's check our biscuits. Wow. Okay, our biscuits have about two minutes left. Go ahead, Dave. Wow, Jen is watching from Oman. I was thinking, wow, that's amazing, Jen. Where is it's really that? Really good. you. It's it's on the the edge of the Saudi Peninsula, down by the Arabian Sea. Wow. Wow. That's, that's pretty, pretty awesome. Cool. Hmm. Um, okay. Must be late there. So back to white sauce. Um, bless you. So this is a standard recipe and once you guys get this recipe down you'll be like whoa i didn't know i could make all this so you could make the white sauce and cook any noodles you want and have instant macaroni and cheese you don't have to bake it you could just pour the cheesy sauce over the noodles you could make the same one add cheese and pour it over your vegetables because you know we can't have vegetables be healthy david it's okay um you can um, do anything like a pot pie or shepherd's pie, which I just said, but it doesn't have to be like a ton of white sauce. You could use like a half a cup, but it just gives it enough gravy. If you need more, let's say you're making a shepherd's pie or whatever, and you have just a little bit of gravy left, but not enough, just add a little bit of extra milk and flour, heat it up, and then you can use it in your dishes okay does that make sense yep okay what'd you say <laughs> and don't forget our diane and dime cookbook is free shipping right now and somebody was asking if you're in the u.s how much is the price 21.95 so it's 21.95 but it's free shipping and if you're outside the u.s it's discounted shipping yeah and we decided if you're in the u.s and you want to choose the priority shipping we discounted that yeah if the priority is not free but the regular shipping is free and um, <clears throat> most people, the first time they use this, they will save the cost of the book the first trip to the grocery store. Yep. I've had person after person tell me it's the, um, it's one of the best ways to go uh, for saving money on your grocery bill because it's practical things you can use right now. It just doesn't say cut money or grocery bill, stop spending. It actually gives you the tips and the recipes on how to do that. So So a lot of people are asking about where do you get the glasses for twenty dollars? Zenny, Z E N N I Optical.com. I've yeah. purchased from them for fifteen years. They should make me a sponsor. Pretty much everything <laughs> we have. Oh, Chris is asking, is the white sauce good to make into pizza sauce? Um, you could. You could make like an Alfredo type sauce if you want. Put Parmesan Romano cheese in it instead. Yeah. Somebody was, um, somebody earlier was saying you could make Alfredo <coughs> or some other sauce out of it. <coughs> yeah. You can. Okay, the biscuits have okay. about one minute left and then we're going to test this and I'm going to cut. I made some more solar system soap. And I'm going to cut that and then I also made some grandma's old fashioned soap. So. Yeah, that smells good. Um, sorry, uh, Brenda, she said you could gravy, cheese sauce, Alfredo, etc. Yeah, yeah. So do we have a moment to look at these then? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Jamie says, I'm definitely glad you guys are showing people how to make sausage gravy because some people make horrible stuff. You guys make it the right way. <laughs> this is really good. I don't like gravy. I, I refuse to eat gravy from anywhere else except for my own homemade not to sound conceited, but seriously, guys, people do not know how to make good gravy, and this is good gravy. It's really good gravy, and it's it's pretty easy, right? <gasps> so they want us to come to the Homesteaders Conference in Tennessee in in October. They're begging for us to go. Maybe I could show them how to make gravy. Ooh, that could would be I awesome. Could I do Could I do a session on making gravy? All those Southern cooks will probably just have a cow if I do it. Maybe <laughs> work a little bit. No, so, you, you just have to say y'all properly. And then... And use enough lard. <gasps> Mindy says, white pizza. My husband used to be allergic to tomatoes. You oh, know, yeah. It's funny because I like the white Ooh, pizza better. But we've never tried making the white pizza, but I'm sure it would work. Okay, so here's the biscuits right here. Can you see the biscuits looking all yummy licious? Yeah, they look super delicious. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so we will have Mike, the taste tester, test the biscuit and gravy here, and we will... Can I also test? Yep. Ooh, Ooh Maureen says add some sour cream to the white you sauce to make it even yummier. Yeah, you can. You can get you some biscuits. 
Um, all, right. all about the journey said, I think biscuits and gravy is an American thing. We really don't make it in Canada. Somebody else uh, was saying that she's from the South in the U.S. and her husband is from Canada and he loves it. Probably because he's tasted hers. <laughs> the thing is, it's more of a Southern United States thing, but it is so awesome. <laughs> it's so delectable. Mmm. <laughs> Dude. Patty went to Aldi today. Eggs were. Man, dear, um, that's really good. That's even better than usual. Patty went to Aldi and what? And she got eggs for 68 cents a dozen. Wow, I haven't seen them that low for a long time. Well, no, I did actually. Last time we went to Minnesota, they were 49 cents, I guess, weren't they? But that still, was... that's super cheap. So, was that delicious? It is hot. You just burned your mouth. I'm mm. sorry, are you okay? I didn't burn my mouth, but I was grabbing some water real quick. <laughs> so guys, that's how you make biscuits and gravy. Yum. Guys, this is part of the tips that we're trying to tell you in dining and, and all of our books and stuff. Here's mm. the deal. That took me about 15 minutes to make all of it. And I was yapping in between it. Usually this really is like a 10 minute dinner for me. By the time you spend 20 to 30 minutes driving there and back, to the restaurant for us it's a 40 minute drive round trip to go find food here and um by the time you wait in line and if you eat there you're talking an hour an hour and a half just to get dinner i can have it done and have the whole kitchen cleaned up in 45 30 45 minutes and that includes sitting down and eating it so these are the kinds of things that we want you guys to start doing. So Fun Cooking Channel says, where's the conference in Tennessee? Is that the one you were talking about? It's the Somebody Homesteaders the... of America conference. Somebody else said Great Appalachian. Is that no, a we're one? not going to the Gra Great Appalachian. That's oh, in that's a couple weeks. Soon. That's in May. It's yeah, we couldn't get that, that soon. It's the best thing ever? Mm -hmm. Did I do good? Is Mama good cook? Mm -hmm. Maybe I should have a kiss as a thank you. Ah. Uh, so Esther, oh sorry, Esther. His mom tried to sneak more kisses. Esther said she would add crushed garlic to the white sauce. Yeah, that would be you could add crushed garlic and basil <clears throat> and like um, Parmesan cheese and make an Alfredo type thing. As Spinner says, got a ham today for 79 cents a pound. Oh wow. Hey Amy T's here, good morning Amy. I'm oh, Southern and, and I make my gravy the way you do. Thank you Rebecca. See? I'm a good cook and I didn't know it. <laughs> so we, I'm going to cut myself, but we have a special guest coming tomorrow to our house. <gasps> you do. Does anybody, oh, they just gave it away. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Dirt they Patch hear. Heaven is coming to stay with us tomorrow. What? Yes. Mm -hmm. Dun, dun, dun. She's going to be here tomorrow, Wednesday. We're going to be shooting videos. We're going to go live on our Facebook page and <gasps> her Facebook page both. Can you do that? Live. Just through Facebook? Dirt well, we're going to do diff two Kevin. different times. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know if you could do. That's awesome. Well, I thought there was some way to well, invite somebody. how do you somebody. think I do my soap? No, I thought there was a way to invite somebody so that you could do them both at the same time live. Well, if she's standing right here, why should I do that? <laughs> no. eh, never mind. It totally went over your head. It's okay. You're not doing very well. I think it's going over your head. If she's standing here, why would I invite her? No. What I'm saying is, it sounded like what you were saying, but clearly you didn't understand what I was saying, that you're saying. <laughs> I thought you were saying you're going live on your channel and her channel at the same time no. so that her viewers and our viewers could be on at the same time. Why would we do that? Well, it just sounded like what you were saying because it would be exciting. He never to listens viewers. to me. It's okay. I listen, we just don't speak the same language. That's for sure. <laughs> How do you know you'll like the frames on your face if you can't try them on, Tara? Um, so what I do is, um... You take a picture on the thing, and then it basically figures out... Well, you, they have, like, markers on the screen. So then if your face is, like... You know how big your face is? Okay, so here's how I do yeah, it it's weird. for glasses. I go to the eyeglass store, and I try on glasses that I like first. Yeah. Now, at the eyeglass store, on... The brim right on the inside here, usually there's measurements. And it'll say like 45, 17, 54, something like that. So 45 is the measure of your lens this way. 17 would be the bridge. And then the last number is the measurement of the arm. Okay. 
So if I find a pair of glasses I really like, then I go to Zenny, I click the frame I like if it's metal or plastic, then I click the shape of the frame that I want. For me it's rectangle, but they have all kinds of shapes. And then I go in and I pick the size that I want. Then I put my picture on their then I take a picture of myself and I put it on their thing and I try on the glasses that I think I will like. And every single time it has worked for me. Well, no, I take that back. One time it didn't. And we have ordered at least six pairs of glasses a year for the last 15 years, minimum. But they're so cheap that usually I'll order eight or 10 pairs of glasses because I'll get us like a regular pair of glasses and then a prescription sunglasses. So. And I will tell you, these glasses that I'm wearing are, bi are progressive bifocals. I have, a really, um, I have a really heavy prescription, so I have to get the thin, thin, thin lenses. These glasses normally would be four to $600 if I bought them in the store. I cost $70 as any. For Jack, I just asked at Walmart today and it was going to be $45 for him a pair of glasses and I will get them including shipping for about $20. So it's it's definitely worth it. Uh, who is it that's asking? DA Harley Hub is asking, did you use milk? Yes. Yeah. Um, somebody was asking about, oh, it was on a different thing, I think. A chicken. Oh, I'll have to look back because I can't remember the, the comment. So back to Dirt Patch real quick. She's going to be visiting tomorrow and Wednesday. And we're going to be shooting some videos. And we're going to be live. So be watching for announcements, guys, on Facebook. Join our Facebook page, Living on a Dime. And her Facebook page, Dirt Patch Heaven. And we're going to be on both of those tomorrow and Wednesday. So... Oh, here's the um, spaceship soap guy. Oh. Do, 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 do. Wow, see. I'm really loving this one. It's looking good. Dude, poor dog. Okay, so go ahead. So Utsa is asking, do we ship the books and soaps to India? I think we would, wouldn't we? Yeah, we would. I don't know how much the shipping would be. But this one I did purple instead of uh, the green. So you would need to email us, and you can go to livingonadime.com and click on contact and email us there, because uh, we would ship them, but we only have shipping set up for the places where people have ordered before, yeah. because it's it's a little hard unless we actually have somebody interested in a place. So if you email us or go to livingonadime.com forward slash contact, or you just click contact, yeah, we'll help you with that. How's the tax figured out on the book? If you're in Colorado, it's 2.9%. If you're in Mead, Colorado, it's 4.9%. And if you're other places, we don't collect it. Because we're in Colorado. <laughs> so we have to collect it in Colorado. <laughs> um, <clears throat> oh, uh, somebody was asking about... You guys can buy these soaps on my Etsy store, too. Michael put a link in just a minute. Linda's saying, off topic, but I just got a smooth top stove like yours. Do you like it? I'm so afraid I'm going to scratch mine. I like it really well. The only thing you need to be careful of is you have to make sure that your pans are a completely smooth bottom. Don't get pans that have the little ridges on them. If you get the pans with the ridges on them, you will scratch it. Um, and if you need to know how to clean it, I have at livingonadime.com how to clean your oven top it's super simple it works really good yeah uh she already scratched the oven the top mm -hmm. yeah because we got the wrong pan and the kids aren't real careful when they're so yeah mm -hmm. we really messed it up not bad but i guess uh oh we have a birthday mm -hmm. we'll get we will sing happy birthday, uh, let's see. I think it's Laverne's daughter, Elizabeth. I'm going to see Woo! if we can. Your this mom said that. This is my space yeah. shirt soap, guys. Wow. When, when Ed is asking, does your son have high blood pressure? I hope he's feeling better. He doesn't. He did at one point. He did, but he's been exercising every day. He's 
lost some weight and his blood pressure has gone down. He still is not feeling great, but he discovered that his job as a pizza guy was causing a lot of problems. So he went ahead and quit that job. He works this week and then he's done. And then he is going to be doing some self-employed things that he's already started and see if he can continue to keep feeling better. Um, he, we don't know for sure what's wrong. The doctor suggested he might have a blood vessel issue that is causing him problems when he's standing up. He, the blood is not flowing correctly because of restriction of blood vessels, correct? Well, the, the doctor said some people just have trouble that's uh it's a condition i guess but it's not really a disease or anything where you, yeah something to do with the way the blood flows um people they have to take breaks instead of standing up for 14 hours in a row or <clears throat> have to eat regularly and stuff like that so it sounds like it might not be a sickness or anything that needs to be overcome just that he has to make sure that he whatever he does working wise He's able to take breaks <clears throat> every so often and being a pizza guy he's not able to do that so he just had to quit and he's doing some self-employed things that he's trying first and then if that doesn't work then he will get another job but just make sure that he can sit down and that kind of thing uh mel so. is asking when you talk about sausages is that minced meat uh no well well yeah maybe it's minced meat well it's pork here in America, it's pork sausage that they've ground up. So it's pork that they've ground up and they add spices to it. And actually, if you want to make your own homemade sausage, or if you're not in the United States, on page... Oh, Brenda, the Zinni, that Zinni.com you shared is not the right one. It's, uh, I, I, I don't know what that is. That, I think, is another website that's just using a name like it. It's Zenni, Z-E-N-N-I, optical.com. I'm sharing it, the link here. I shared it once before in the comments, and I'm going to go put it in the show notes for you guys. Okay, so Dining on a Dime Cookbook, which, by the way, is on sale with free shipping, guys. Page 222 is homemade breakfast sausage. So if you don't live in the United States, or if you do live in the United States, and you want to make your own pork sausage, this is, this is the breakfast sausage that we're using right here on page 222. So that's the breakfast sausage right there. Seriously, Dining on a Dime has everything, guys. It has all... Your cooking needs. It's really a cooking encyclopedia. But, oh man, guys, I'm loving how this turned out. I'm so happy. Okay, let's see. I'm. Does anybody it. else like it? It is beautiful. Did I do a good job? It is spectacular. Keep going. Amazing. Wonderful. Keep going. Fantastic. One more. The dog. I almost said something I didn't want to say. Oh. Uh, the dog well, is just reminded me of others. Oh, sorry. Um, Okay, uh, the Zenny Optical link, I also just now put it in the show notes, so if you can't find it in the comments, it's there as well. All right, -E there is my spaceship soap. I've got two more loaves over here. I'm going to cut my old-fashioned soap first, and then if we have time left, I'll finish cutting the rest of my um, the rest of my spaceships. Jamie, love you more is on. Hello, Jamie. My friend Jamie. Jessica says, "Thank you all for the white. Thank you for all the white sauce ideas. I will look up the sausage. Thank you." Yeah, it's a really good recipe. The funny thing about the glasses is, some people would say, "I don't know if I trust that or not." It turns out, I, I think they're basically it, it's basically like you're buying from the company that stores like Walmart. Okay, from. so let me put it to you this way. Everyone questions that and that kind of thing, but let me put it to you this way, okay? So, I can be, it'll be $40 to $60 for me to buy Jack a pair of glasses at Walmart. For Zenny, it'll be $10 to $20. Be anywhere, be, well, actually between $11 and $20. They go, their kids' glasses start at $6. So, here's the thing. Even if I bought three pairs of glasses for Jack, let's say I bought the first one, they didn't work, and I returned them, and I tried again. Three times I would have to see if they work would still equal the cost of buying them at Walmart, which Walmart gets them from the same place. Walmart does the same thing. So for me to save $600 on these glasses, I would have what? to order eight pairs 
before it would cost me the same amount. Now, we have had problems before. It was not the company's fault, it was actually our eye doctor's fault. They gave us the wrong number. You have to make sure you get what's called the PD, and it's the distance between your two um, pupils. And the doctor can measure that for you. It's not a big deal, but just make sure you have the right PD. The doctor measured Ellie's PD wrong. And that was our doctor's fault, and that wasn't actually Zenny's fault, but Zenny did return them, and we were able to order them with the correct, and we got it. So, I think it's worth a try. I mean, my goodness, give it at least a try. You're not out anything but a couple of Starbucks if you get really expensive glasses. So, okay. Wait, before we do that, should we do the birthday song? We had a request for the song. Okay, birthday <coughs> song. Laverne's daughter Elizabeth. To? It's Laverne's daughter Elizabeth, and I also found out Nancy's daughter Jillian. So Elizabeth oh, and Jillian. Right, guys. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Elizabeth and Jillian. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. birthday! I didn't hear how old Elizabeth is. Jillian is 26 and loves to cook. Likes to make Claire cinnamon rolls, etc. from scratch. Well, she needs a Diana Dime cookbook yeah. for her birthday. Tara loves the cinnamon rolls. I do. They're that my was, favorite. Wasn't, is that recipe is in there, right? Yeah. It was one of her most yeah. favorite recipes when I met her. Yeah. So. Okay, guys. So here is my homemade old-fashioned soap right here. This is an eight-pound batch that I made the other day i did not do it live i just taped it so here we go so we're gonna unmold it Let's see if we can go get it unmolded Woo! oh look at that baby hey gwen i will share the link to the soap cutter you're asking about uh actually it's a link to a review that we have it tells the guy that we got it from and it, it's in the comments in and not in the comments in the description on this video or if you watch the video you'll see it okay. too all right now i was showing you how you can make soap in just a um cardboard box Ugh. oh did anyone find the book in wyoming not yet did we you, haven't had anybody did you post the other video by itself no i don't have oh. the video well, we should post you it. have it um no bj has it we have to get it from him we uh yeah nobody if nobody's found our hidden book in um in wyoming yet so if you guys want it go to little america it's behind the big sign if you happen to travel in wyoming to little america it's under the tree under the sign okay so here's my big old slab of soap so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this oh man this smells so good this is just plain yeah, unscented soap sure Okay, I'm cutting it down. Whoa. Now, I don't have a log splitter. I should probably get me one, but I don't have a log splitter. Otherwise, I would just use a log splitter, but I'm using my handy dandy knife because I want you guys to see how easy this really is. Now, this has been sitting since, let's see, Saturday night. Now, this white stuff on top, you can see the difference. See the difference between this and this? This is just a little bit of soda ash. It's nothing major. I just forgot to spray the top of my um, soap. And um, if you don't like it, you can take a washcloth and just wipe it off, or you can steam it off with a steamer. Okay. Now I'm just going to estimate my bars here. This is not going to be perfect. Okay. It's called guesstimating. Hey, your brother says, David Cooper says, still waiting on the Superman soap. You told me you had enough Superman soap. I didn't know I was supposed to make you any. You make some kryptonite soap. Oh, I made him kryptonite, not Superman. I need a Superman mold. No, that's why he's been sick this entire time. Because you made him kryptonite soap. Oh, How could you? It's my fault. <laughs> my goodness. I made him kryptonite soap. And now Mary he's says, sick. are the roses in the back real and what color are they yes they are my wonderful husband bought them for me what color is that sort of a 
What's it's a yours? peach. It's a peach, yeah. It's a peach color, and I would say those are probably some of my favorite ones he's ever bought me. They're so pretty. Really? Oh. Yes, they really are. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Deborah said online glasses work out great. I have been ordering for years. Even got a pair for free. Yeah. I've been ordering, like I said, for 15 years. And it's worth it's worth the try, guys. I mean, like I said. For the price that you pay at the store, which is absolutely ridiculous, it's worth a try to um, see if you can save yourself. Well, let's see. Never mind. I'm not going to use a cutter. To see if you can save yourself a I ton of money. Get a ruler out. Well, Rocio says we buy from the same place. We had even noticed better quality than at the eye doctor's office. Yeah. yeah. The cheapest from the doctor's office for over $100 for a son that was less than 20 from the website and lasted longer. Exactly, yeah. Now see, this one had a little kink and it kind of fell apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to smush this one back together. This one will just be for us. This is the soap my son with eczema uses. So I'll just save this in piece for him. It's the unscented. Love it. Love it, love it. Okay. So yeah, I should measure it with a ruler, but eh, why? <laughs> Got a little pipe on the edge. We'll keep them rustic, old-fashioned looking like Grandma did. <laughs> <clears throat> so, any other questions? Can I have a bit uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, pretty roses back in that corner. Little America used to go there all the time on her way to Colorado to visit my grandma. Oh! Yeah, so if you're driving by Little America, there's a Dining Eye Dime cookbook under a tree, under the great big sign that apparently nobody has found yet. Denise says, Dave, you and your siblings have to go back, may have to go back to Utah and hide another book while they get a booger, burger. Booger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's hide it at uh, in and out Your brother just shared a link for ice cube tray thing. Uh -oh. Let's see what that is. Laura, we get our glasses from Zenny Optical. We're not getting paid to say that, by the way. <laughs> but no, I'll... but they should pay me because I uh, send enough people there. I'm sharing the link now, and if you don't find it here, you can go to livingonadime.com and click in show notes. Sharon wants to know, what was your impression of Mississippi? Oh, I loved it. We really liked it. We were. In... Yeah, I'm sure if we went in <clears throat> August, we wouldn't be saying the same thing, but yeah, in we were the spring, kind of in... it's really nice. It was sort of south-central Mississippi, right? Mm-hmm. Um, probably, what... 45 minutes south of Jackson, and then I don't and know. then we went after a couple days. We went down to what's the town where we went for the get New together? Orleans. Oh, Wiggins. Wiggins. Yeah. So then those are Jackson. So then I just take the little ones, um, the pieces that are broken, and I'll just smush them together and try and form some sort of a. Now what's funny is the leftover pieces, like the ball I just did, are these um, planets. These are all leftover pieces of soap that I had just made soap balls <laughs> for a Dave, lot of years. Uncle Dave sent a link in Facebook. That was a mold for these Superman symbols. <laughs> he <laughs> thinks he needs some Superman soap, huh? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, should I get him some for when they get their new house? They can... He can start off properly. Wait, are moving? Well, no, but they're thinking about it. <laughs> Guys, you should have mom look into the moving thing in the house thing before you move. She's pretty good. She just sits there in her free time and looks at houses. <laughs> yeah, my children think I'm crazy because I just sit there and look at houses all over the country. But hey, you never know when you're going to run into your dream house in, you know, Tahiti or something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, dear? That would be awesome. We could do that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Would Tahiti be good? Play on the ocean every day. <laughs> so. All right. <laughs> Jamie yes. says, get a ruler out, girlfriend. I think I stressed Jamie's soap, ma soap making juju out. She says, you should give away soap if people can guess the chicken fact I sent you today. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jamie was sending me all kinds of things to do on the show. For eggs for Easter. Yes, Albany Mountain Homestead. She uh, says we were 30 minutes north of the Gulf Coast of Mississippi. I think we were. At, well, we didn't 
did we see the Gulf Coast while we were there? Not for Mississippi. We did as we were, well, I no, don't know. No, that we was didn't. that lake. Actually, I was we all the way down there and I didn't even see the Gulf Coast. Actually, we drove over Lake Pontchartrain and we could see the direction where the Gulf probably was, but it was probably only the lake that we saw. Well, now I feel like I got gypped. <clears throat> Man, why didn't we go see the Gulf Coast with Goshen's? Right Out of Goshen, we should have done that. Because we were busy going to New Orleans. <laughs> well, yeah, going to the creepy place. Beverly Farm is, is at Tim is asking, how can unscented soap smell good? It just smells fresh. I don't know. I love the smell of soap. I don't know. I just, it just smells really fresh. Out of Goshen is on. Hello, out of Goshen. We were watching you guys last Your night. Your live stream was awesome yesterday. Yes, it was. Your live stream was <clears throat> awesome. Dave apologizes for all oh. the bacon jokes. Oh, yeah. He was being a 14-year-old teenager. <laughs> um, I think I already did on the live Oh, you did? Okay. Good job. <laughs> um, we, uh... If we go to the Homesteaders of America conference, then out of Goshen could come see us, too. They're going. What? They want they? free tickets. Dude. Oh, cool. Um, I think they need a white gravy maker for the Homestead Conference. What do you think, dear? I think they do. I oh. think I need to email them and ask them. Chloe Girl wants to know, how long is the free shipping good for on Dining on a Dime? Till next Monday. You just decided that? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm sharing the link again for that. And again, if you can't find any this link or any others, you go to livingonadime.com and click on show notes. Yep. And it's in there. Um, and uh, we are having our own get-together July 1st in Mead, Colorado. Ooh, I forgot to take that application down. Oops. Um, Mead, Colorado at the park. Unless someone else reserves it before me, and hopefully not. Um, <laughs> July 1st, 10 a.m. at... Founders Park in Mead, Colorado. Hey, if there's other YouTubers who want to come, just let me know and I'll add you to the announcement. Oh, I would love to have several different people come. That would be just terrific. But I also know that Colorado isn't where most of the homesteaders are from. Somebody was talking about so. the soap e course. Uh, it is that oh, soap yeah. e course is half price until yeah, my Friday. How to, yeah, my how to make soap for beginners e course is Friday Dave. Saturday. Can you lift it up? Is on sale until uh, Sunday. So now we know what you'll look like with glasses. With my that glasses. Cute. I stole David's glasses. You stole <laughs> his glasses. I can actually it's be see miniature, with them. Dave. Uh, oh, Sunday's April 1st. Oh, Sunday's Easter, April 1st. Oh, well, so since it's, it's Easter, we'll go until April 2nd. We'll go till April 2nd. Oh, I need to change what I'm telling people here. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that was Easter. All right. So. Whoa. Man, that is old-fashioned looking. Isn't that cool? That Actually, cool. I like the rustic look of yeah, it. Yeah, it is nice. I'll probably <gasps> take a knife and clean up the edges. But uh -oh, don't I kind of like a rustic bar. Don't tell David, mm. but Brenda says I have Superman symbol molds. <gasps> oh, Brenda, don't tell my brother. He'll make <clears throat> me come to your house and make soap with him. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, have you seen the Krypton cookie, the Krypton, Krypton cookie dough Superman ice cream, Kryptonite? No, really? That's funny. I did funny. not know that. Huh. Now this will sit for four weeks to cure and then it will be ready to use and like I said I'll probably go in and just clean up the edges and stuff a little bit but I like these big rustic bars I don't know I uh, think it's pretty cool myself Denise is asking if you have a white linen scented soap uh not white linen but I do have a fresh linen like outdoor scent that I'm going to be making after dirt patch heaven leaves <laughs> And the unicorn. I got to get my unicorn one done too. I keep putting it off because the unicorns are kind of a pain to make. So, yeah, she tries to mold some things and is finding that they're a little more difficult than she thought. This Susanna is just unscented, regular, rustic, old fashioned, unscented soap. 
Melissa said, I didn't know if that was soap. I would have thought it was feta cheese. It does kind of look like cheese. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, oh, you already told her what, oh, uh, which one. Oh, by the way. Do they shrink as they cure, Betty is asking. Yeah, a little bit, but not a lot. Oh, and Jenna said I made your Easter egg pie last night, and it's delicious. Oh, it thank delicious. you. Look what we got from Zoe <gasps> in the UK. Oh, that is beautiful. Isn't that pretty? And That's I did. Really I just nice. opened this part. Oh, look what she sent you. It looks like it's like a bookmark or a freshener or something. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, she loves it when Tara says, get it together, people. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Zoe. A car freshener to help cheer you up. Oh, thank you. And Tara. And it's got clothes. a seaside picture, too. Okay, let's see what this one is. I was loving being next to the sea <gasps> in all the places we were. Oh, in. how cute. Oh, that is really cute. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, it's a va oh, it's an old, old Valentine. Whoa! Wow. What? I'm not gonna take it out of the package because my hands aren't totally clean. Oh, how cool! Wow. Nice. Oh my goodness! What is Look that? it! It's an old Easter card. Whoa! Isn't that cute, guys? Oh, Zoe, thank Wait, you so much. Easter card or Valentine? It's Easter card. Oh, okay. Did I say Valentine? Yeah, you did. I meant Easter card. Easter card. <clears throat> that is really cute. Oh, I'll fr I'm will i going to frame that one. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that is too cute. We have the best viewers. Thank you, guys. Yes, thank so, you So, I'm going to tell you, now that I've calmed down slightly, Why about our refrigerator. But Can Annette we... wants to know, did you ever hand shape your soaps? No, not really. Redirect. <laughs> Just kidding. Michael doesn't want me to talk about the refrigerator. Oh, you can. Oh, uh, Beverly is asking, is there, or, or sorry, Tim is asking, Tim Beverly from Beverly Farm is asking, is there a coupon for the book? So the no, shipping is free if you just go to the site. Just and click go and buy it and it's free. So also, you don't have to have a coupon for that. We are having a giveaway. Pin it to win it is what Heidi called it. Thank you, Heidi, for that what? wonderful name. Pin it to win it. Oh, um, I totally forgot about that. Go. Michael put the link in there. If you pin a Pinterest, if you pin a um, article or recipe or book or anything from our website, if you pin it, send me the link and you'll be entered into the drawing to win on Friday. We're gonna do this for several weeks to see if we can get some traffic coming back to our website because Pinterest and, and Facebook have totally hosed us. <laughs> Pinterest was loving on us and all of a sudden they're not. So I just shared that link. Yeah. Uh, if you don't find the link, again, you can go to livingonadime.com and click on show notes. Yep. And that link is right there. Yeah. Okay, so my refrigerator. So I was so excited for my new refrigerator that I got used from the thing. Saturday, Mike and BJ and David were cursing my name, trying to get it in the door. We weren't cursing. <laughs> I, I, could, I could feel the vibes coming through the house. I could feel them. I was like, come on, Mom. Really? So we get the old refrigerator out and stuck in the corner with the new refrigerator, cornered in there accidentally. And so for all weekend, we had one refrigerator sitting in the middle of the floor and the new refrigerator here, trying to see if we worked on it. At two o'clock this afternoon, mind you, the show is at 4.30. I'm finally getting the new refrigerator loaded because I had to take the boys to two doctor's appointments this morning. So I'm finally getting that loaded, only to find out the new refrigerator is not as big as the old refrigerator. After I got everything loaded in there. So, uh, at 2.30, 2.45, somewhere around there, I'm cleaning the old refrigerator thoroughly since it's totally emptied. And then we take and have the boys help me unload everything from the new refrigerator back to the old refrigerator. And at 3.45, we are hauling out the new refrigerator back out to the front porch, pushing the old refrigerator back in, and I'm not a happy camper. 
pan left since there's nothing. Oh yeah, that's just. So, if anybody needs a, a new old refrigerator, it's sitting on our front porch, and you can just take it. Well, that bad, huh? We could probably get what we get what we paid for it. So, needless to say, <clears throat> at 4:10, the show starts at 4:30. Remind you, at 4:10, I realized after all of this. Dave and I didn't get the books down to the post office today, and it wouldn't be that big of a deal, except now that people are paying for priority, I feel like, you know, we should get it to the post office in a timely manner. <laughs> so I skate in at 420, and I try to put on makeup and bring all the supplies out for the show. So needless to say, Tara's mm. not happy. Oops. Sorry, Danny. Danny McDonald says hi, Mike and Tara. Hi. Hi, Danny. <laughs> Spicy's here from Backwood Spicy! Rays. Spicy! Oh, three oh. days of rain coming, and after that, I'll get plants in the ground. Wow. Woohoo! <laughs> One moment at a time. Mike just smiling with a no comment look. Yeah. Uh, then I got a nasty lady emailing me yesterday, which really hacked me off. So I sent her a Tara reply. She was really going on and on about how I was making all my soap wrong and I was just doing all this wrong and that wrong. So I wrote back and I said, oh, I have an easy fix for that. Don't watch. Yeah. I was like, <clears throat> I'm sorry, if you're going to be a dork, you're not going to get a, a real nice, oh, thanks for letting me know your opinion. If you don't like it, don't watch it, people. Some people that don't watch the show very often see stuff that everyone else loves and they think it's just tragic and horrible <laughs> like you're obviously at the wrong channel <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh, if you want perfection <clears throat> this is not it so debbie said as asking is dirt patch heaven there just tuned in and thought you said when dirt patch heaven leaves yes tomorrow she's coming Woohoo! tomorrow she's coming so we're all excited and my house is a disaster again my wonderful kitchen fairy came today and I woke up to a glorious kitchen this morning, and by the time I was done with it, at showtime, I just wanted to cry. Well, the kitchen fairy can at least come back, <laughs> if nothing else. Uh, Backwoods Ray said, I missed the galaxy soap. I need to go watch the cutting of that. You cut it? Oh, you just cut it today, didn't you? Oh, it's freezing. Here's one. These are the outtakes, and the outtakes even look amazing. They don't have the, the little spaceships on them, but... <sighs> But there's whole bunches of them here with little spaceships crashed into them. <laughs> this is awesome. I love these. <laughs> Dads are flying through space. They're not cracked. So don't forget, guys, our Dining Eye Dive cookbook is free shipping if you're just joining us. All right. So, so let's see. Did I miss anything here? Um... Yes. Mike is a good husband. Thank Aww, you. Oh, thank you. Are you sure? Haley, I just bought the Cooking on a uh, uh, Dining on a Dime book and the pretty ebook. Oh, or is that in that? Yeah. Thing? I'm so excited. I need all the help I can. Yay! Um, Lori, is this good for dry skin? Yes, it is. It does not have the drying properties that regular soap has that you get in the store. Um, my son has really bad eczema, and it works really good for him. So you might give it a try and see if you like it. Wait, Beverly, Beverly Farms has ordered my book. Guess I'm not getting the free one I wanted to <laughs> Huh? Did we meet Tim when we were down there? <laughs> what? From Beverly Farm. Ordered my book. Guess I'm not getting... I have no idea. <laughs> I'm totally confused. Uh, Backwoods raised. Holy moly, I'm going to get one of them. That is awesome. So, he loves that soap. Oh, the... And Out of Goshen says it's awesome looking too. I thought Sam would like it. I didn't think about you, Spicy. I'll tell you what, Spicy. Send me a thing of your jelly and I'll send you a soap. Woohoo! Send me your address. Jamie says it's raining now. I wish I had Yay. kitchen fairies, Amy T says. Well, yes, I do too. Uh, Duncan1900 Home says it's just gotta love the haters. Hey, if you have a YouTube channel and you get haters like that... You know you're you know, doing something right. For us, it's not, it's not a huge number of people compared to how many people there are, but it's enough people that they're just obnoxious. And... There's... Oh, well, I delete probably between 5 and 20 hateful emails and comments a day. Just between YouTube and E 
and the and the um, but email. I was gonna tell you, go to YouTube and type in "Truth Bomb Mom, Call the Police," and that that's a specific video that she made to address people that do that. And it is so awesome. It's "Truth Bomb Mom." And the video is called "Call the Police." Because what's so funny is people will Marcus say, Christina kids make this her actual uh, "People will say, I've been watching your videos. You've been watching my videos. I hate all of your videos." <laughs> okay, if you've been watching my videos, you need and you hate me that much, you need to call the police. But the way she says it is pretty hilarious, so you should go see it. And we're like, ah, that's so true. We were just like, yes, preach it, sister. <laughs> Watermelon Focky said, Tara's getting salty on us. <laughs> That's because oh. the world needs more salt, people. Believe me, I was being nice to her. I, I, I oh. yeah, I was being nice. Uh, she wrote back and said, wow. I'm like, I'm sorry, Chicky. If you're going to be sending me a nasty note, you're going to get it right back. I ain't going to be putting up with none of this baloney. If you don't like it, don't watch. Uh, and on that note, I do have a how to make soap each channel if you want to go watch it. <laughs> how I do everything wrong. Suzanne says no police, they need a psychiatrist. Yeah, why do people take the time to complain and go on with your life, Mindy says. Yeah, I guess the thing is that I think a lot of times it's people that aren't familiar with the channel and they're, they have a, something that just sticks in their bonnet about something and then they see it on our channel and... Yeah. Yeah. So. Happy birthday, Brenda! Happy birthday, Brenda! Oh, we had a, we had a request. Happy birthday to you! From Amy T. Said, asked if we would sing Happy Birthday for four-year-old Dalton. Okay. Son of Courtney. Where is the thing? <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Here we go. For Dalton and Brenda, huh? Okay. Yep. You ready? Sure. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday dear Dalton and Brenda. Brenda. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Woo! Yay! So Amy, is is Dalton in Oz or is he somewhere else? But that's awesome. I hope we get to see it. And happy Very birthday, nice Brenda. Though. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Yep. <laughs> Aaron insists I tell you again. Yay. I just caught it. So <laughs> you're okay with me, Tara. Ignore the bullies. Keep smiling. Oh, hey, speaking of that, there was a comment I wanted it. I was looking Yay. for. Where was it? Yay. It's raining. We should I... tell everyone what rain looks like. We don't know what rain is in Colorado. We get it so rarely. <laughs> uh, where was it? Oh, well, I just saw a comment that was, that was really nice. And I, well, I've seen a lot of them, but... Well, Jesse said, made it to another live show. I always get so excited when I make it. Yay! That is awesome, and that's encouraging to us. Yes, thank you. you tell us, so thank you so much. All right, guys. Don't forget to visit us at livingonadime.com. Our book is free shipping, Dining on a Dime cookbook, until next Monday. Woohoo! And our How to Save on, or our How to Make Soap for Beginners e-course is 50% off until Monday. So go grab those two. Thank you, guys. Did not mean to and I tonight. will be back on Wednesday. Don't know if Dirt Patch Hamna is going to be able to stay for the live show or not. She has to keep moving on, but um, she is going to be here tomorrow and Wednesday. We are going to go live on Dirt Patch Heaven and Facebook Living on a Dime. You have no idea. Sometime what time yet, right? I have no idea when she's going to be here. So go click get notifications, and we will. Hopefully, get you will get notified. I will try to go on beforehand and give you guys a notice. Two, I'll do a little video and and do that. And um, yeah, I think our new theme for ending the show is: if you don't like our videos, don't watch them. And if you don't like our videos, how come you're watching an hour and fifteen minutes in? <laughs> and if you do like them, give us a thumbs up and share, please. And thanks so, thanks so much for hanging out with us. We really appreciate all of you. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Yeah, hold on. You forgot the landing, Dave. Oh. <laughs> okay, bye. Good night. You're off.